Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Hazel of Soul Saver, where I help you find the right fitting on your next healthy shape. So you've guessed it right, based on the title of this video, the unfortunately the previous management of the company where I was working with saw the video and the management reached out to me and said um, I need to take down the video unfortunately because the reason behind it is that it is showing a lot of the um, company's storefront if that makes sense and I didn't really ask for any authorization before shooting the video that's my bad so in in respect to the management I have to take it down but the good news is it's an opportunity for me to recreate the video and show you in a more concise and shall I say um, an ultimate review is necessary with a more clearer, clearer video. After a few weeks of posting it, actually it reached about, about just about 2,000 views. It's not that bad, but just for the sake of um, the viewers and for every, every one of you who are subscribing this channel, they really want to know more about the Frankie Four Shoes. And um, by the way, this isn't anyway sponsored. Every video is not sponsored. I will tell you when it's sponsored. But yeah, if you're in for an orthotic friendly shoe, you are here for a treat, my friends. So let's do it. So we are going to have a thorough review of the Frankie Four White. Nat 2 in a size 7.5 so when you buy it you'll receive this box on the ticket it will show you the, the design the size and the color their box is really sturdy so they really encouraged people to reuse it or recycle and once you open the box you'll receive a kit and it has all the stuffings in it, the paper stuffings, and also the tissue that covers the shoe once you want to put it away. So the kit looks just like this. It will show you a bit of instructions, but I'll discuss it later thoroughly. I'm just opening the box, I mean the bag. So this is what's inside. The first one is the half foot bed. It's what we call it a least and the four foot cushionings. I'll tell you how to put it in a while. This also comes with like a sticky material inside underneath the paper. So yeah, let's go directly to the shoes. As you can see, I'm, I've been loving this and I've been using it. So let's just lose the laces first. So as you can tell, this has a rubber band inside that gives you extra support. So you can actually use this without the laces. And also the size of the shoe is just inside the, the heel cup in case you throw out the box and you forgot your size. So personally, I've been using and loving the full, full bed full insoles and even without the insoles you can use it as it is it's leather lined as well so you need to wear them in still this is how it looks the sole is very stylish by the way i've been mentioning orthotics and for people who is unaware about orthotics this is how it looks it's a the device that's recommended by podiatrist and it's used to align correct and provide um, support for your ankles and basically it's for people who has like foot deformities and different conditions now let's go back to the video. This is what we call the half foot bed as mentioned. 
and we recommend it for people who have moderate to wide foot and if you have half um, orthotics you can actually use this so it gives you an extra room inside let's insert the other foot bed there we go and just make sure that it's tucked in until the heel part it looks very sleek hey so we're gonna do a little try on here is my socks it's what they call the secret socks i love using this with my frankie four I'm trying on the half foot bed and just lacing it up. I lace it as tight as I can because I don't want it to be loose. I, I want snug fit. It will show a little bit of the socks but that's okay. As you can tell I'm pinching my toes right here. There is a lot of room and allowance if I use the half foot bed. That's why I, I prefer the full, full bed, full insole. So yeah, just pop it out if you don't want it. And here is the four foot cushioning. If you have like an A width or double A width, you can actually use this to make a snugger fit. If it's a little bit loose, you can actually insert the forefoot cushioning and insert the full bed or the full insole. And that will push your feet and give you a snugger fit. It does the trick every time. So that's how it looks. When I pinch it, there's actually no room and it's very... It fits very good. Feels very good as well. So when you're happy with the placement of the forefoot cushioning, all you've got to do is peel off that paper, the brown paper underneath, and you can actually stick it on so that it will not move. You can use it to give an extra height to your orthotic and it stays there for as long as you want so just insert it as you wish and it will look something like this that will also be the case when you have orthotics it will give you an extra um, height but for myself, I'm happy with the full bed, the full insoles. So that's what I've been using. And as you can tell, it is really supportive. It's not as it's not going to be as supportive as your orthotic for for sure, but it will give you the right angles and the right placement for your heel and thus it will actually give more support to your ankles and your stance that's why it's they they claim that it's very healthy so I'm just trying it on tying it and I will give you a little bit of mod shots I just tie it like that very simple let me get up first, put it away, and yeah, look at that, swag. <laughs> it's really neat, that's why I like it. So whether you're strolling around the city or spending hours at work, I personally use this for work. These shoes will keep your feet happy and comfortable because the cushioning is just right not too soft not too firm striking the perfect balance so i'm just using trackies at the moment but i would normally prefer wearing this with jeans or with my work pants yeah 
it's very casual too and you can dress it up or dress it down depends on your mood on that day so as i've mentioned before it is very orthotic friendly as you can tell it's not as like the other orthotic friendly shoes that are chunky these will keep your orthotic hidden and it's very sleek and neat and i think that's the major selling point of this shoe is that it keeps your orthotic or your support hidden but it still looks very neat decently neat and now let me talk about the things i don't like about frankie 4 and let's be real about this so the company frankie 4 claims that the shoes are built to last using high quality materials that can handle daily wear and tear now we have customers who will come in after four months or so and that they will claim that the leather of the shoes is tearing off or falling apart some would say that the stitchings are not that seamless and that hurts them i don't know or i'm not too sure if the company is still doing this but one thing that really frustrates customers and me is that when they finish off a certain batch that's it you can't repurchase it because it's just sold out and the thing is these people or the clients that has orthotics they find it very hard to actually find a shoe that will match their orthotics so that's what really frustrates frustrates them so frankie four please make more shoes we need you and that has been the frankie four shoes i hope that you liked it if you have more questions i will try to answer them and just comment it down below um please do not forget to subscribe in this channel ring the notification bell and ring or hit on the notification bell and yes please subscribe i'll see you on the next video bye